After four centuries wearing the instruments of torture that were corsets, the invention of the bra was a revolution for women. Il a accompagné toutes les transformations, il a simplifié la vie euh, des femmes, ça c'est sûr. They accentuate the figure and inspire the greatest designers. Mon but c'était que ça soit drôle, original, mais aussi confortable. Que ça c'était les petites bonnes par exemple. Their success was electrifying. By the end of the 20th century, bras had conquered the world. C'est un produit de l'hégémonie. I loved so many different aspects of this. I really liked the history that was involved and not just modern history, but like really going back in fashion, really going back in the kind of time period and not just with, when you're going back that far, you, you do have to look at high society and, you know, the kind of common class. And they really did touch on both. And, you know, they backed it up with not just like articles of clothing, but also sketches, drawings, paintings, you know, from that time. And, I really, really loved that every person they interviewed was a woman, that they only had women talking about this. I thought that was fantastic. Even if, you know, some of those companies and some of those inventors and everything like that were clearly men, but still having women talk about this, having women talk about the evolution and the history and how it's grown and changed, I thought was great. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really thorough. I learned a lot, but I found it really, really intriguing because a lot of it is stuff that like I had no idea. And clearly like this is something that like every woman I know has at one point in her life worn a bra. Like that's just part of life. This was very interesting in how they put it together for the history of lady shapewear or the bras, the corsets. I like that they went back in time a little bit. To show, just to show the little bit of old drawings from the corsets and how men like Napoleon used to wear them a little bit and then they stopped and women still do. Um, this documentary kind of covered everything. It went from history of shapewear to confining to make women look nicer for men to women now wanting to be gone with bras and go free and free and everything else it's uh but this showed that also the fashion element of it which I really enjoyed the fact to sh see what goes into making them where they're trying to make them more comfortable but they but making them comfortable but not as confining and constraining where they're still trying to make them sexy for lingerie where this this documentary really covered everything from the fashion side of it to the free the breast side of it and everything else and put it in a context with showing the historical reasons why to now and how women, some women want them, some women don't. I could see the evolution of shapewear throughout the ages um, and how it was constricting and how it changed for, you know, the male gaze and where we are now <laughs> Um, with with so many different aspects of, of um, feminism going throughout the, the 60s and 70s and going through all of that and women's liberation and getting rid of the bra and, and taking back the bra and, and lingerie and using it for self-confidence and like all the different changes that had on like structurally and design wise for lingerie and different um, women's shapewear and undergarments. I think it's really interesting to see. I think there was a lot of history presented in here and it was really, really interesting to watch. You know, art has always reflected history and culture. Um, therefore, fashion has always reflected history and culture. And now we're zeroing on a very specific topic with undergarments and with the bra. And that definitely uh, is not exempt. That is reflecting history and culture as well. So it's interesting to see looking back in earlier history about um, you know, how different types of art garments existed and they existed for such purposes and there was class divide in the type of gar undergarments people were wearing. And, uh, you know, going up to the bra being at first liberating and then it becomes a, you know, a symbol of over-sexualizing women um, and the movements around that and the differences of thought around that. It's, it, you know, looking at the, uh, the activists, looking at the lingerie industry and how that's going. This is extremely interesting. 
the film, I think, is very effective because by analyzing the history of a woman's piece of clothing, it manages to talk about the journey of women's right and how such a small element, the bra, can reveal so much about what it has meant and still means to be a woman and can also tell the story of the battles that women have fought and still fight. Especially as a man, the movie gave me a lot of elements to think about. And even though the film focuses on, on women, um, I think the documentary as a whole can work as some sort of invitation to reflect on all the different aspects of today's society. For example, what we wear or what we eat, etc. And um, I think it can work as an invitation to question them or at least try to understand where they're coming from. Learning about the history of bras is very insightful, especially because it it, it exposes a very glaring issue um, when it comes to how society portrays bras. Uh, growing up, even though I never wore a bra, um, I was always taught to believe that you wear a bra for the health of your breasts. Um, they help support them in order to prevent them from essentially sagging, but then show, showing the fact that back in the day, bras didn't even truly exist. Uh, bras were actually the re not reintroduction, but reforming of the corset um and it was used as a way of objectification that was um that was eye opening because again you're you're taught a specific way about certain things uh so seeing another perspective of something that you see in your everyday life uh is very interesting uh, sort of loungewear and the fix of the female body through the lens of both male and female. So I like the use of archival incorporated because it's very helpful of painting a picture of how far back the thought process um, of this goes. Um, I don't think I've seen a documentary like this 